of this song says, I am totally devoted to you, totally devoted to you, wrapped up in your love, how I love you so, I'm totally devoted to you. your name. You are so worthy. I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness and will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will show forth all thy marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. Sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion. 
declare among the people his doings, that I may show forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. Therefore, will I give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name. Be thou exalted, Lord, in thine own strength, so will we sing and praise thy power. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusted in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoiceth, and with my song, will I praise him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will give thee thanks in the great congregation. I will praise thee among much people, and my tongue shall speak of thy righteousness and of thy praise all the day long. For you have put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. In God we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises unto our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing ye praises with understanding. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. According to thy name, O God, so is thy praise unto the ends of the earth. Thy right hand is full of righteousness. Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. I will praise thee forever, because thou hast done it. And I will wait on thy name, for it is good before thy saints. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Sing for the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Sing unto God, sing praises to his name. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens by his name, Jehovah, and rejoice before him. Let us be healed as we deal with guilt and shame and the wounds of the soul. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Psalms 119, 105. The entrance of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. Psalm 119 and 130. But unto you who revere and worshipfully fear my name, Shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings and his beams, and you shall go forth 
and gamble, to leap or skip around playfully like cows released from the stall and leap for joy. Malachi 4 and 2 The light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when thy eye is single, thy whole body also is full of light. But when thine eye is evil, thy body also is full of darkness. Luke 11 and 34 John 14 and 30 I will not talk with you much more, for the prince, the evil genius, ruler of the world is coming, and he has no claim on me. He has nothing in common with me. There is nothing in me that belongs to him, and he has no power over me. Verse 31, but Satan is coming and I do as the Father has commanded me, so that the world may know and be convinced that I love the Father and that I do only what the Father has instructed me to do. I act in full agreement with his orders. Rise, let us go away from here. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Psalms 4, 6 through 8. For thou will light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. Psalms 18 and 28. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27 and 1. For with thee is the fountain of life, in thy light shall we see light. Psalms 36 and 9. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Psalms 37 and 6. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, O God, for you are worthy. My heart panteth, my strength faileth me. As for the light of mine eyes, it is also gone from me. My lovers and my friends stand aloof from me sore, and my kinsmen stand afar off. They also that seek after my life lay snares for me, and they that seek my hurt speak mischievous things and imagine deceits all the day long. Psalms 38, 10 through 13. O oh, send out thy light and thy truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring me unto thy holy hill and to thy tabernacles. Then will I go unto the altar of God, unto God my exceeding joy. Yea, upon the harp will I praise thee, O God my God. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Psalm 43, 3 through 5. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Will not thou deliver my feet from falling? that I may walk before God in the light of the living. Psalms 56 and 13. We receive your healing, God. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Lord, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. 
Psalms 97, 11, and 12. Unto the upright there arises light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. Psalms 112 and 4. But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Proverbs 4 and 18. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is light, and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Proverbs 6, 23. In the light of the king's countenance is life, and his favor is as a cloud of the latter rain. Proverbs 16 and 15. O house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Isaiah 2 and 5. God, we put our trust in you. We put our hope in you, O God. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy re-reward. Isaiah 58 and 8. I am come as a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. John 12 and 46. When Jesus had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Hath no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. John 8, verses 10 through 12. I pray that the presence of God will always visit your home. And I pray that you have a divine encounter with Jehovah Rapha. You're my hero.
Exodus 15, verse 26, he said, If you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, obeying his commands and keeping all his decrees, then I will not make you suffer any of the diseases I sent on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Exodus 23, verses 25 and 26. You must serve only the Lord your God. If you do, I will bless you with food and water. I will protect you from illness. There will be no miscarriages or infertility in your land. And I will give you long, full lives. Deuteronomy 7 verses 14 and 15. You will be blessed above all the nations of the earth. None of your men or women will be childless and all your livestock will bear young. And the Lord will protect you from all sickness. He will not let you suffer from the terrible diseases you knew in Egypt, but he will inflict them on all your enemies. Deuteronomy 30, verses 19 and 20. Today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. Now I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life so that you and your descendants might live. You can make this choice by loving the Lord your God obeying him and committing yourself firmly to him this is the key to your life 
And if you love and obey the Lord, you will live long in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. First Kings 8, verse 56. Praise the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel, just as he promised. Not one word has failed of all the wonderful promises he gave through his servant Moses. Psalms 91, verses 9 through 10 and 14 through 16. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love you. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Psalms 103, verses 1 through 5. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My mouth is renewed like the eagles. Psalms 107, verses 17, 19 through 21. Some were fools. They rebelled and suffered for their sins. Lord, help. They cried in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, snatching them from the door of death. Let them praise the Lord for his great love and for the wonderful things he has done for them. Psalms 118, verse 17, I will not die. Instead, I will live to tell what the Lord has done. Proverbs 4, verses 20 through 24, My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Isaiah 41 and 10, don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Isaiah 53, verses 4 and 5, yet it was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Jeremiah 1 and verse 12. And the Lord said, that's right, and it means that I am watching, and I will certainly carry out all my plans. Yes. Jeremiah 17, 14. Oh Lord, if you heal me, I will be truly healed. If you save me, I will be truly saved. My praises are for you alone. Jeremiah 30, verse 17, I will give you back your health 
and heal your wounds, says the Lord. For you are called an outcast, Jerusalem, for whom no one cares. Joel chapter 3 verse 10 Hammer your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Train even your weaklings to be warriors. Nahum 1 and 9 Why are you scheming against the Lord? He will destroy you with one blow. He won't need to strike twice. Matthew verse 8, verses 2 and 3. Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly, the leprosy disappeared. Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. That evening, many demon-possessed people were brought to Jesus. He cast out the evil spirits with a simple command, and he healed all the sick. This fulfilled the word of the Lord through the prophet Isaiah, who said, He took our sicknesses and removed our diseases. Matthew 15, verses 30 through 31. A vast crowd brought to him people who were lame, blind, crippled, those who couldn't speak, and many others. They laid them before Jesus, and he healed them all. The crowd was amazed. Those who hadn't been able to speak were talking. The crippled were made well, the lame were walking, and the blind could see again, and they praised the God of Israel. Matthew chapter 18, verses 18 and 19. I tell you the truth, whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven, and whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. I also tell you this, if two of you agree here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. Matthew 21, verses 21 and 22. Then Jesus told them, I tell you the truth, if you have faith and don't doubt, you can do things like this and much more. You can even say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and it will happen. You can pray for anything, and if you have faith, you will receive it. Mark 9, verse 23. What do you mean, if I can? Jesus asked. Anything is possible if a person believes. Mark chapter 10, verse 27. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. Mark 11, 22 through 24. Then Jesus said to the disciples, Have faith in God. I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, may you be lifted up and be thrown into the sea, and it will happen. But you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I tell you, you can pray for anything, and if you believe that you've received it, it will be yours. Mark 16 Verses 14 through 18. Still later, he appeared to the eleven disciples as they were eating together. He rebuked them for their stubborn unbelief because they refused to believe those who had seen him after he had been raised from the dead. And then he told them, 
Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. These miraculous signs will accompany those who believe. They will cast out demons in my name and they will speak in new languages. They will be able to handle snakes with safety and if they drink anything poisonous, it won't hurt them. They will be able to place their hands on the sick and they will be healed. Luke chapter 6 verse 19 Everyone tried to touch him because healing power went out from him and he healed everyone. Luke chapter 9 verse 2 Then he sent them out to tell everyone about the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Luke chapter 13 verse 16 This dear woman, a daughter of Abraham, has been held in bondage by Satan for 18 years. Isn't it right that she be released even on the Sabbath? Acts chapter 5 verse 16 Crowds came from the villages around Jerusalem, bringing their sick and those possessed by evil spirits, and they were all healed. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. Romans chapter 4, verses 16 through 21. So the promise is received by faith. It is given as a free gift, and we are all certain to receive it, whether or not we live according to the law of Moses, if we have faith like Abraham's. For Abraham is the father of all who believe. That is what the scriptures mean when God told him, I have made you the father of many nations. This happened because Abraham believed in the God who brings the dead back to life and who creates new things out of nothing. Even when there was no reason for hope, Abraham kept hoping, believing that he would become the father of many nations. For God has said to him, that's how many descendants you will have. And Abram's, Abraham's faith did not weaken, even though at about 100 years of age, he figured his body was as good as dead, and so was Sarah's womb. Abraham never wavered in believing God's promise. In fact, his faith grew stronger, and in this he brought glory to God. He was fully convinced that God is able to do whatever he promises. Romans chapter 8 verses 2 and 11 And because you belong to him, the power of the life-given Spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. And just as God raised Christ Jesus from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by this same Spirit living within you. 2 Corinthians 4 Verse 18, so we don't look at the troubles we can see now. Rather, we fix our gaze on things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone. But the things we cannot see will last forever. 2 Corinthians 10, verse th 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 3 through 5. We are human, but we don't wage war as humans do. We use God's mighty weapons, 
not worldly weapons, to knock down the strongholds of human reasoning, and to destroy false arguments. We destroy every proud obstacle that keeps people from knowing God. We capture their rebellious thoughts and teach them to obey Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14 and 29. But Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law. When he was hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it is written in the scriptures, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. Through Christ Jesus, God has blessed the Gentiles with the same blessing he promised to Abraham, so that we who are believers might receive the promised. Galatians chapter 3, verses 13, 14, and 29. But Christ has rescued us from the curse pronounced by the law. When he was hung on the cross, he took upon himself the curse for our wrongdoing. For it is written in the scriptures, Cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree. Through Christ Jesus, God has blessed the Gentiles with the same blessing he promised to Abraham so that we who are believers might receive the promised Holy Spirit through faith. And now that you belong to Christ, you are the true children of Abraham. You are his heirs and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 17. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through 17. A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Philippians 2 verse 13, Not in your own strength, for it is God who is all the while effectually at work in you, energizing and creating in you the power and desire both to will and to work for his good pleasure and satisfaction and delight. Philippians 4, verses 6 through 9. Do not fret or have any anxiety about anything, but in every circumstance and in everything, by prayer and petition, definite requests, with thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. And God's peace shall be yours, that tranquil state of a soul 
assured of its salvation through Christ, and so fearing nothing from God, and being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that peace, which transcends all understanding, shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy of reverence and is honorable and seemly, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely and lovable, whatever is kind and winsome and gracious. If there is any virtue and excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think on and weigh and take account of these things. Fix your minds on them. Practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and model your way of living on it. And the God of peace, of untroubled, undisturbed well-being will be with you. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7 For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 let us hold tightly without wavering to the hope we affirm, for God can be trusted to keep his promise. Hebrews 10, verses 35 through 36. So do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord. Remember the great reward it brings you. Patient endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that he has promised. Hebrews 11 and 11. It was by faith that even Sarah was able to have a child, though she was barren and was too old. She believed that God would keep his promise. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. James chapter 4 verse 7 So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James chapter 5 verses 14 through 16 Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. 1 Peter 2:24 He personally carried our sins in it He personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right. By his wounds you are healed. 1 John chapter 3, verses 21 through 22. Dear friends, if we don't feel guilty, we can come to God with bold confidence, and we will receive from Him whatever we ask because we obey Him and do the things that please Him. 1 John 5, verses 14 through 15. And we are confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. And since we know he hears us when we make our requests, we also know that he will give us what we ask for. 3 John and 2, verse 2. Dear friend, I hope all is well with you and that you are as healthy in body as you are strong in spirit. 
Revelation chapter 12, verse 11. And they have defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by their testimony. And they did not love their lives so much that they were afraid to die. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We bless you, oh God. For the name of the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. We magnify you, oh God, and we thank you for your goodness and your mercy and your loving kindness. We thank you, oh God, Lord, that you did not leave us, oh God, Lord, but that you're right here with us in the midst of it all. You have shown yourself to be Jehovah Shema, oh the Lord God that is in the midst of us. Through it all, oh God, you're right here. Oh God, Lord, you are a very present help in the time of trouble. God, Lord, you said that when we call you, that you will answer, oh God. You promised never to leave us, never to forsake us, oh God. And we bless you and we praise you. We magnify that wonderful name of Jesus. God, we call upon you. God, to move in the midst of your people. We call you, oh God, Lord, to show yourself strong. God, Lord, the where there are, there's heaviness. Father, we ask that you lift the heavy burdens. Lord God, where there is sickness and disease, oh God, Lord, we're praying, God, Lord, that your healing oil, oh God, Lord, will pour down over that situation. Lord God, we're believing you, Father God, for great things. God, we're believing you, oh God, God, to have an encounter with Jehovah Rapha. Lord God, this nation, God, we need you. Oh God, we need you so much. Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice and how you became our sacrificial lamb and that you stood uh, uh, and, and took our place before our Father. Hallelujah. We couldn't do it. We, we couldn't do right. We couldn't do right even if we wanted to do right. So Jesus, we thank you that you answered the call, that you stepped up to the plate and you said that you will go on our behalf have. We thank you, Lord God, for the mockings. We thank you, Lord God, for the beatings. God, we thank you for the scourgings. God, Jesus, we thank you, oh, for the thorns in your head.
head and the nails in your feet and the piercings of, uh, in your side. And God, we thank you for standing in the gap and taking our place. And we're thanking you, Father, that you allowed our sins to be placed upon Jesus, that in his own body, he bore our sins, he carries our sicknesses and our diseases, and that we can call on the name of Jesus right here and right now because of the finished works of Calvary for what our God has done and that he uh, has accomplished it. He has finished it, and it is done in the name of Jesus. So we call upon Jehovah Rapha, and we cry out for the healing balm. We cry out for the healing oil. God, Lord, we're praying, God, that it would just begin to pour all over this nation. Lord God, that you begin to pour it down. Pour it down on the great men. Pour it down on the least of them, oh God. Pour it down, oh God, Lord, upon every man, woman, boy, and girl. Pour it down, oh God, Lord, let it come. Let it flow, God. Let there be miracles of healing. Let there be manifestations of your power all over this nation, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says that if thou shalt confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Let's begin to declare what we believe so that we may possess what God says concerning every area of our lives. 2 Corinthians 4, 1 and 2 says, Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not, but have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth. We are getting ready to strategically renounce the subject matters that may have been materializing in your life that cause you setback, discouragement, and pain. Let's go before our Father now. I repent right now of all hidden sins committed by me, whether by omission a willful commission, I repent in Jesus' name. And now by divine authority, every afflicting demon that access me through secret sins depart from me to the place of divine appointment, and I block you from returning to me ever again. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from mental and emotional turmoil produced by satanic attacks. I speak to my conscience and decree that it is fully cleansed through the blood of Jesus Christ. I decree I am acquitted, discharged, and justified. I thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I renounce any soul agreements, demonic attachments, demonic seductions, or demonic entanglements concerning my life and those of my household. In the name of Jesus, I repent of any spiritual intercourse with demonic entities, thereby granting contamination to my soul. I renounce any permission granted to any agent of Satan, which resulted in demonic infiltration, satanic encroachment, or spiritual defilement. I destroy their altars, tokens, and anointing influencing my life and relinquish any dealings with demonic contacts. I now declare that I am one with Christ and only the anointing and influence of the Holy Spirit operates in and through my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce every sin reigning in my life. I decree that sin shall no longer have dominion over my mind or my body. I declare that my delight is and will be in the law of the Lord according to the inward man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce the hidden things of shame. I renounce the demons of secrecy and guilt which have produced deception hypocrisy, and pretense in my life. I decree that I am strengthened with might by the Holy Spirit in my inner man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce all speeches, all actions, and thoughts that produce or reinforce all manner of carnality in my life. I put to death the deeds of the flesh. I take control of my mind and direct my attention away from the things of the flesh, for the carnal mind is enmity against God. It is written that whatsoever a man soweth, that will he also reap. In the name of Jesus, I decree the immediate destruction of every seed of carnality confronting me, In the name of Jesus, I renounce any associations that were used to influence me to do wrong. I release my mind and my soul from the snare of the bad choices I have made as a result of evil associations. I decree immediate termination of mental fatigue, spiritual fatigue, and weariness caused by outside influences upon my life. By the authority given me in Jesus' name, I command these demons and their allies to take their leave off me now, never to return to me. I terminate their present and future assignments and I block all satanic channels they used to locate me. In the name of Jesus, I renounce any fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree that the activities of satanic agents producing spiritual incapacitation and demonic harassment terminate now. In the name of Jesus, I renounce any satanically initiated covenants that have impacted my anointing, my spiritual condition, or my spiritual resourcefulness for the kingdom of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I abolish any covenants that I have knowingly or unknowingly entered into that have produced an unresponsive mental, emotional, physical, or spiritual condition within me to the demands of my covenant with the Lord Jesus. I decree that every access point for demonic infiltration or demonic influence is immediately blocked. I decree that the blood of Jesus seals all perforations and breaks in my hedge of protection. My hedge is now sealed. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce statements that established any self-imposed curse or self-imposed bondage hindering my divine purpose. I renounce my acceptance of statements spoken concerning me by parents, siblings, relatives, neighbors, friends, former friends, relations, brethren in the church, co-workers, or persons unknown to me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cast down all strongholds on my mind or my emotions concerning the activations produced by words spoken against me or spoken against the divine prophecies concerning my future, my well-being, or my divine purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ, I renounce and repent of all self-deceptions, delusions, and counterfeit works produced by my acceptance of false prophecies. Furthermore, I renounce any point of acceptance of lies spoken about me by Satan and his allies. I intercept and destroy all lies from Satan that were spoken about me by any persons who were associated with me during my infancy, childhood, adolescence, or in my adulthood. I decree the immediate destruction of satanic records bearing my name. I decree that the blood of Jesus is now applied to cleanse and heal every condition created by the words and actions and impressions of others concerning me. I cancel any genetic disorders, diverse generational influences and patterns contrary to my well-being in the name of Christ Jesus. I overrule any spiritual defilement from my maternal and paternal background by the influence of the Holy Spirit. I flush out any spiritual corruption, contamination, or defilement in my father's family or ancestry. I speak divine alignment regarding my bloodline, and I decree that demonic pathways from my mother's background and my father's background are permanently blocked. In Jesus' name, I decree the dissolution of any satanic seeds planted by anyone connected to me. I decree that the blood of Jesus blocks off all demonically familiar pathways to my life in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, I cancel all demonic operations that attack me, operating through the spirits of Sambalat and Tobiah and Shemaiah. I demand the immediate demolition of satanic structures, spiritual roadblocks, that have been activated by statements made by me or statements made by others concerning my destiny. I escape schemes and devices crafted to sap my health, thwart my divine blessings, future, gifts, spiritual development, academic well-being, professional opportunities, block my financial opportunities, divert my ministry opportunities, and the delay, the fulfillment of divine prophecies concerning my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I demolish the blockades and fortresses erected by the demons of doubt, disappointment, vain labor, mockery, futility, and abandonment. I take hold of the reins of my thoughts and declare my victory by the blood of Jesus over the enemy. I declare I prevail against every gate of the enemy erected against me in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I permanently erase the lies spoken by these demons that were received in my faculties. I decree that I no longer stagger at the promises of God through unbelief, 
I move in the strength of renewed faith, giving glory to God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I declare the permanent deliverance and release of my spirit, soul, and body from the hands of the enemy. I yield myself to the service of the Lord in Jesus' name. God, we need your presence. For in the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, oh God, there are pleasures for evermore. Whoa. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. Hey. Worship you, wonderful God, wonderful God. Hallelujah. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Matchless love and beauty in this world. Nothing in this world can satisfy me. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry. Because your presence is heaven to me. Yes, it is, God. Your presence is heaven to me. Treasure of my heart and of my soul. Yes, you are. In my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrong, oh, holder of my future days to come, cause your presence is heaven to me, oh God, your presence
like your presence, oh God, your presence is heaven to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing like your presence, your presence is heaven to me. There's nothing like it Your presence Is heaven To me, to me 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 We're singing Oh, oh Jesus Your presence is heaven to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Your presence is heaven to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Your presence.
that you are worthy. Yes, you're worthy. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, we praise. Oh, holy Lamb. Worthy, 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 worthy. I am rooted and grounded in love. I am strengthened with might in my inner man by your spirit, and it is according to your riches and glory. Ecclesiastes 11 and 6. Plant your seed in the morning and keep busy all afternoon, for you don't know if profits will come from one activity or another, or maybe both. Zechariah 8 and 9. This is what the Lord of Heaven's armies says. Be strong and finish the task. Ever since the laying of the foundation of the temple of the Lord of Heaven's armies, you have heard what the prophets have spoken, saying about completing the building. Hebrews 4.16 so let us come boldly to the throne of, of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it most. God is calling us to whip Satan with our giving. Each sowing opens up an account. I declare that I keep strife out of my life at all costs. Faith and love are the keys to victory in every situation. I will never allow strife in my home and in my ministry. I honor God by obeying God. I stop making excuses for where I am. If I want success, I have to want it like I want my next breath. I will work consistently toward my goals. Success comes from hearing and obeying God. Joshua 1 and 8. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then, Will you prosper and succeed in all you do? Psalms 35, 27 through 28. But give great joy to those who came to my defense. Let them continually say, Great is the Lord, who delights in blessing his servant with peace. Then I will proclaim your justice, and I will praise you all day long. Isaiah 45 and 3, and I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. 1 Corinthians 2, 4 and 5, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. First Chronicles 22 and 14. Now behold, in my trouble, I have prepared for the house of the Lord an hundred thousand talents of gold and a thousand thousand talents of silver and of brass and of iron without weight. For it is in abundance. Timber also and stone have I prepared, and thou mayest add thereto. Zechariah 1, 14 through 15. So the angel that communed with me said unto me, 
cry thou, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I am jealous for Jerusalem and for Zion with a great jealousy, and I am very sore displeased with the heathen that are at ease. For I was but a little displeased, and they helped forward the affliction. Proverbs 10 and 6 Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Proverbs 10 and 11 through 22 The mouth of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found. But a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. The blessing of the Lord, it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. 3 John 1, verses 2 and 3. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospered. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. Isaiah 55, verse 6 through 11. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the soil, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of thy mouth. It shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Mark 11, 22 through 26. And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. And when you stand praying, forgive. If you have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit which leadeth thee by the way that thou shouldest go. Luke 6, verse 38. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together, and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet, with all it shall be measured to you again. Give, and you will receive. You will be given much, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. It will spill into your lap. The way you give to others is the way God will give to you. 
Deuteronomy verses 8, Deuteronomy 8 and 18. But thou shalt remember the Lord thy God, for it is he that giveth thee power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, which he swear unto thy fathers, as it is this day. As I begin to declare over you, stand in agreement with me. I understand prosperity from God is a process, and the process is to dress me properly in my heart, in my mind, and in my understanding so that I can handle it. I cannot handle supernatural wealth from the natural. I cannot handle this like money from a job because there really is not much to handle. But with the wealth of God, I have to come through a process to understand how it works and how it got to me. I live in kingdom possibility, and kingdom possibility has no limit. The level to which you are prepared to be a blessing determines the level to which you will be blessed. God will not bless you beyond the level to which you are ready to be a blessing. If we want Abraham's blessing, then we must have Abraham's lifestyle. Abraham was an addictive giver. I pronounce a financial anointing upon your house. That means all your goods are in trouble. So this night forth, all of your bills have to be for your highest good now. There is no numbering of the avenues in which supply can come to you. Your resource is as far-reaching as the universe. Expect your supply magnify your name oh god you are worthy to be praised for the rising of the sun to the going down of the same let the name of our god forever be praised we lift you up oh god you are king you are master you are ruler you are lord of all hallelujah you're the first and you're the last you're the beginning and the end, oh God. Lord, for your kingdom shall reign forever. Your name shall be magnified forever. Oh God, Lord, if the rocks cry out, God, Lord, we will praise your name forever, God. We will bless your name forever. We will sing praises unto you, oh God, for you are worthy to be praised. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I will bless the Lord at all times, for your praises shall continually be in my mouth. I will exalt you because you're God. I will bless you because you're good. God, you are, you are wonderful. You are King of kings and you are Lord of lords. God, Lord, you are almighty. You're the almighty God. 
Hallelujah. You are the first and you are the last, oh God. Lord God, you're the beginning and you're the end, Lord. Of your kingdom, there shall be no end. For you are greater than great. Oh God, Lord, you rule forever. You reign, oh God. You reign. Your name reigns, Lord. There's no name under heaven that is greater than the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, Lord, for how you care for me. I thank you for how you have provided for me. I thank you, Lord God, that you are with me. I praise you, oh God, for being with me. I thank you, Lord, that you are near, that you are not afar. God, that when I call upon you, you said, God, that you will answer. Hallelujah. There is nobody like you, Lord, for you are indeed the great I am. You are indeed Lord of all. You are King of kings. And of your kingdom there shall be no end. You're the first. You're the last. You're the beginning. You're the end, oh God. You rule and you reign forever. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God, revive me by your word, oh God. I told you my plans and your answer, oh God. Teach me your decrees. Help me understand the meaning of your commandments. And I will meditate on your wonderful deeds. I weep with sorrow. Encourage me by your word. Keep me from lying to myself. Hallelujah. Give me the privilege of knowing your instructions. I have chosen to be faithful, God, to you. Determined to live by your word, oh God. For Lord, your word to me is better than life, for it is sweeter than the honey in the honeycomb, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Great is our God, great is our God, and greatly to be praised. You are the great, oh God. You are the great Jehovah. You are Jehovah God. You are Jehovah Nisi. God, that you are the banner of God. Lord God, that you reign over the earth, oh God. You sit upon the circle of the earth and you reign and you rule, oh God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 